to the guy who clicks on this lacing tips video and proceeds to comment asking what lacing tips they should use if they wear laceless pure controls, well, What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to share with you a quick lacing tip variation that you can implement on just about any pair of soccer cleats with laces that'll actually improve the comfort and performance of your boots. Also, if you guys enjoy these boot hack kind of quick tip style videos, don't forget to support this one with a like if you want to see more. And if you're new here watching for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. Have you ever noticed that after about 20 minutes, your boots feel looser than they did from when you first put them on. The reason for that is because the lacing system actually will lose tension as you start running around. And once that lacing system loses tension, the boots are not gonna be as secure on your feet. Therefore, there is going to be potential for slippage and instability inside of the shoe. So the performance is gonna suffer and you could potentially develop a blister because of that little bit of extra slippage. But there's a very simple thing you can do to go from something like this, which is a regular lacing setup, to something like this, which is slightly modified, but will maintain its tightness throughout your entire playing session. Now here's the logic on why this works and why it's better than the traditional way of lacing up pretty much any soccer cleat. Now this is a Nike Mercurial Vapor 12, which features a one piece upper with a dual lace hole setup, which we're seeing more and more of from modern day soccer cleats. But the same is true for a regular lacing setup where it's just a single lace hole on each side. Now a lacing system, you have to kind of view it as different sections and that's the way that you would traditionally tighten them up. You'd loosen everything, slide your foot in, and then you tighten it up section by section. Maybe you want this bottom part looser than the top part, or you want the top part looser than the bottom part. But what ends up happening after you start running around for 20 minutes, the reason why they feel loose so soon after you've tied them is because the entire lacing system is connected even though you tighten them section by section. So like I said, if you have it tighter here and looser here, what inevitably ends up happening is it kind of just loosens up all the way down where the tension ends up being even. That's just what automatically the shoes want to do, again, because you're not separating everything. So as an example, if I were to pull on this cable right here, right like this, it's gonna tighten all the way down. That's because yes, these are separate sections, but everything is technically connected. Now this boot is laced up using the inverted lacing system that I'm gonna show you how to do in just a second. The difference between this and a regular lacing setup is that we've now separated the lacing system into sections rather than it working as one giant unit where everything is connected. So what ends up happening is you now have one, two, three, four, five positions where each individual position is gonna have its own kind of independent lock that will be maintained much more consistently throughout your entire playing session. And just as an example, again, I'll pull from the top in one specific section and you'll notice that it only tightens that particular section. It does not affect the tension of the ones below. So because of this, because everything is now separated section by section, it's much more difficult for the shoes to lose their tension once you start running around. So starting off with a one piece upper using a dual lace hole setup, you'll find this on a lot of top end models these days. The way that this works is that you have two different lace holes at each lacing position all the way up right down to the bottom. Now the way that this is traditionally laced up is that you would string the lace through the first hole closest to the inside and then out the second hole closest to the outside. What we're doing for this inverted lacing system is essentially the opposite. So instead of going in the first and out the second, we're going in the second and then back out the first. So it's kind of going away and then back towards the middle of the shoe. So you can see in the second hole like this, the best way to do this is to put your hand inside pull the lace through a little bit and then kind of flip the inside around. I can't show you what that looks like. Feel around for that second hole. Use your other uh, hand if you need to just feel. And then once it's through that hole, you just want to pull it all the way through. Don't get stuck there. Just like that. And you'll notice that it'll kind of get caught underneath here. You want it to loop back underneath. You don't want to kind of crisscrossing. So just leave it underneath. And that is basically the first position. And you want to continue that pattern all the way up. Just to give you guys an idea, I'll do the second position. Again, you want to go inside of the outside hole, just like that, and then back through the inside hole, which I'll try my best to do, just like that. Make sure that's over top. Pull it through just like that. And there you go. You have basically the pattern started. You want to go all the way up until you get to the top. 
Once you're done, it'll end up looking like this. If you're dealing with a boot that has a regular lacing setup using a single lace hole at each lacing position, like the Nike Tiempo Legend 7 that I have here, normally this would be laced up from the inside out. So you'd start underneath the lace hole and then pull it through. Basically, you're going to invert that in order to get this locking system to work. So instead of going from the inside out, you're now going from the outside in. So you're gonna wrap over top of the upper around the lace hole and then pulling it back towards the inside of the boot. So it ends up looking like this. Very, very easy to do. It only basically takes um, the amount of time that it would just take to relace the shoes normally. But again, the end result is gonna be something that locks on your feet significantly more efficiently. Basically, you can do this on any boot that uses a lacing system. As long as you can invert it, essentially doing the opposite of the normal way that it's laced up, typically that will result in separating the sections of the lacing system and the shoe maintaining the tension a lot more efficiently as you wear them throughout your entire session. It's worth trying because it is 100% free to do. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It's not particularly complicated. And the worst case scenario is that if you don't like the way that it feels, you can just lace them up back to the way they were before and there's no harm done. Also, you don't have to invert the entire lacing system. You can actually do it only at the top lacing position or somewhere in the middle or somewhere at the bottom or top half, not the bottom half. It really depends on where you want the tension to be maintained on your foot. It's not uncommon at all to lace them up completely normal. And then at the very top lacing position, you invert it. And that's gonna help to maintain the tension even if the shoe is laced up more traditionally, just because it locks a whole lot better at that top position, which when the shoes are laced up normally, that's the most important spot to help maintain the tension all the way down. So it's really up to you. It's something you can totally experiment with. And again, it's 100% free to do. Very little effort is required. So if you feel that your shoes are loosening up too much as you're playing, definitely give this a try. And let me know how it works out for you down below in the comments. Also, if you guys are interested in some SR4U replacement laces, like the ones you saw me using in this video, for 10 days from when this video goes up, if you use coupon code LACINGTIPS at checkout, that's gonna get you 20% off your entire order with free worldwide shipping available on any order of $14.99 or more. The website to go to is sr4ulaces.com. There'll be a little pop-up on screen as well as a link down below in the description. But again, for 10 days only, if you use coupon code LACINGTIPS at checkout, you'll get 20% off your entire order. Anyways, guys, that is it for me in this video. Just wanted to share that quick tip with you. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. And as always, if you have any questions for me at all or any suggestions, leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.